Hi and welcome to Shosa's classes. Today we are going to be doing a very important sum on regression analysis. You can WhatsApp or call us at the given number for any questions that you might have or queries or for full videos on our courses. Now in this question, change in the sum of squares, suppose that b is the least square coefficient vector in the regression of y on x and that c is any other k into a one vector. We have to prove the difference in the two sum of squared residual is as given in the question that you can see. And we need to prove that this difference is positive. Let us operate on this equation. y minus k c whole dash into y minus xc. I'll fast forward, forward it by writing the full equation. Now we write what the sum of squared residuals based on c is. It's nothing but y minus x c whole dash into y minus x c. This will be equals to we also do a little trick out here so that our work becomes a bit easy. Let us write c as b plus c minus b. Note it, it is actually equals to c but we are going to break it and introduce b in this equation. So this equation looks like 1 minus x whole into b plus c minus b and that is equals to y minus xb plus x c minus of b whole transpose and y minus xb plus x c minus of b and that is equals to y minus xb whole dash is y minus xb plus c minus of b whole dash x dash x c minus b plus 2 c minus of b whole dash x dash into y minus x b but the third term which is this one is equals to 0 I'll explain you why 2 c minus of b whole transpose is x dash y minus x b which is nothing but 2 c minus of b x dash e which we know it as 0 therefore y minus x c into whole dash y minus x c equals e dash e plus c minus b whole dash x dash x c minus of b or minus x c dash into y minus x c equals to minus no let us take the minus side over here and write minus e dash e equals to c minus of b whole transpose x dash x c minus b the right hand side can be written as that is this one can be written as d dash d where d equals x c minus of b so it is necessarily positive this conforms what we knew at the outset of least square is least squares 
Now we see another question. Linear transformation of the data. We consider the least squares regression of y on k variables with a constant on x. Now we consider an alternative set of regression z equals to xp where p is a non-singular matrix thus each column of z is a mixture of some of the columns of x. Now we need to prove, I'm highlighting this, that the residual vectors in the regression of y on x and y on z are identical. The residual vector in the regression of y on x is m x y which is nothing but i minus x into x dash x inverse of x dash whole into y. The residual fact, uh, vector in the regression of y on z is mz y which equals i minus z z dash z inverse z dash y. This is a very easy process to remember it. Notice the similarity of the two equations whatever will be there in this place of the equation just replace them in the following manner now let's simplify this i minus xp into xp dash into xp let me write it a bit clearer into xp whole inverse xp dash y again i minus x p p inverse x dash x inverse p dash inverse p dash x dash y and this is nothing but mxy since the residual vectors are identical the fits must be as well changing the units of measurement of the regression is equivalent to post multiplying by a diagonal p matrix whose kth diagonal element is the scale factor to be applied to the kth variable that is 1 if it is to be unchanged. It follows from the result above that this will not change the fit to the regression. With this we come to an end of another great video. Please like, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. You can contact us at the number plus 9198367930076. Via WhatsApp or call for any questions, doubts that you might have. You can also contact us for more videos on our courses. Thank you for watching.